Welcome to the witch house. Pull up a chair, have a sit, and let's chat because, ta-da, I have the Goblin Tarot. I'm so excited for this deck, you guys. Okay, so this is by Chris Spiegel, and of course, it's a Kickstarter, and Chris actually has two decks. I got the more illustrated version of the deck. He has a pip style of the deck, too. Um, which I'm so grateful for. Chris was so gracious in his Kickstarter. He started his Kickstarter with um, the Goblin cards, and he was showing us all the major arcanas, which were fabulous. And then he got to the minors, and the minors were more pip style. And, you know, the community kind of got after him and said, Oh my God, we love your artwork. Why are you diminishing it down to pips? And so because we cried so loud, I guess, Chris, bless him, did an illustrated version of the Goblin Tarot. So he ended up doing two versions. He did the illustrated version and then he also did pip style because there were lots of people who wanted the pip cards too. So a uh, huge shout out to Chris. Um, he's a wonderful artist. You can see these guys are just adorable. Um, they are the back here. I'll show it for a second and then I'll read it. It says 78 card tarot set, Rider weight, classic reading style, with a fun fantasy twist. All artwork is done traditionally with pens, markers, and colored pencils. And that's what makes this deck so unique. Um, he personalized it to Jennifer. And I have box 16 of 100. 16. So it is a standard. It's a tuck box but it's a little sturdier than your ordinary tuck box. So he went with a higher grade tuck box. I'm so excited to get into this. Ooh. Okay, so, oh, cardstock feels so good. Feels so good. It's very laminated. Um, almost, I think it's plastic. I think it's like playing card plastic. Which is just fine for me. I love that. It's very um, forgiving, plus it shuffles like a dream. Either overhand or uh, riffle shuffle. So that's awesome. Okay, so he has uh, a little card here with just one word meanings on it. And he's got the same thing for the minors. Okay, here are the backs. I love the backs, the bones. Yes, Baker. I know. Are you excited about this deck? She always has something to say, doesn't she? <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the fool. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh my God. Do you not love it? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm shaking too much. High Priestess. In true goblin fashion, she is just porking out. And so is Baker. <laughs> the Emperor with his book of knowledge. Wow. I love these. Oh, Chris, the artwork is fantastic. It's just fantastic. So we have the lovers. I am thrilled to have this deck in my collection. What an amazing artist, really. And goblins, dude, goblins, right? this. I don't even mind the borders. Actually, I rather like the borders on this deck. Um, 
I don't know. It just, they look really good to me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the borders. And in case you can't tell, they're, they're different. Not, uh, just as. The borders are not all the same. The hanged man. Dude. <laughs> I have to look at him upright. Yeah, look. He looks a little freaked out by the goblin buddy there. <laughs> Death. Here, let me shoot that apple off your head. <laughs> oh, these are wonderful. Wonderful temperance. I'm, I, I, I don't have no words. I have no words. I loved this deck from the minute I laid eyes on it. And I think he has done a wonderful job. And I am so looking forward to using this. Definitely. And this is a deck, honestly, I think I would use this deck all year. I would not save this for like Halloween time at all. Um, and I love this because there's no creepy baby in this sun card. No creepy baby at all. So, yeah. Judgment. And I know there's a lot going on um, in some of the cards, but... I like that um, because it really allows me to look and really dig in at the imagery. Um, so I, I appreciate that very much. Okay, here we go. Now, minors. I have not, I saw all the majors, but I have not seen any of the illustrated minors. I did that on purpose because I didn't want to spoil the unboxing for myself. <laughs> So, yeah, so we have the ace, the two, oh my, oh, I love this, oh gosh, I love this so much, you guys, I have goosebumps. Everyone, everyone passed A plus. Yay! Seven. Oh gosh. Okay. I don't know if that's a musician. Uh, I, I I don't know if that's a magician. Or if it's um, a wand, they're just, or if it's like a musical director. But that's a great card. Hands going everywhere. The nine of wands. <laughs> These are fantastic. Fantastic. Ten, look at that. You didn't die. <laughs> you didn't die. <laughs> Page. The coloration too is is, is wonderful. Um, right. Knight. The queen. And the king. Okay, so here we go. Ace of Cups. Yes, Baker. She has finished her dinner. She has to announce when she eats. <laughs> so there's the two. Three of cups. Ooh, getting drunk. <laughs> the four. Oops. The five. Oh my God. 
I just love these goblins. I love them and their mischievous little faces. What does that say? Best, best beer drinker, seven cups. I should hope so. <laughs> Look at him passed out. Uh, eat. Oh, he's jogging out on the bill. <laughs> Drink and dash. Oh, that's too much. Too much. Nine of cups. Oh, I have to read the sign. Great job. Great job not throwing up. <laughs> These are cheeky cards. This is the best deck. This is going to be one of my best decks of 2020. I can already see it. I can already see it. And here's the king. The queen. Oh. The knight. <laughs> and the page. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Okay, now we have the swords. Ooh. Oh. They're all got their war paint on. Oh. Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that one. Wow. Okay. If you're like me and don't appreciate seeing animals being hurt, look away now. That's, that's a hard card. It's a truthful card, but it's a hard card. Um, yeah, this one isn't funny. Um, but, you know, it hits the mark. Okay. Those of you can look now. Um, Four of Swords. It was all fun and games until we, you know, kill an animal. Um, five of Swords. Yeah. Six. Feet and feet out of town. Seven. And we have the Eight of Swords. Wow. The Nine. Being tormented by all those little critters in his dreams. And then we have the ten. And it, he appears to have been put in a pit on stakes. He, oh. No, he looks like he's in a coffin after being run through with swords. We have the page of swords. We have the knight. We have the queen. And then lastly, we have the king. Okay, and last suit, pentacles. So we have the ace, two, trying to get the glare, three, our <laughs> casino. <laughs> Yeah, that's the truth. Okay, here's the five. The bar. Hmm. Six. Here's our seven. Eight. Wow. Nine. All the 
things. My page. Ooh. Knight. Queen. And lastly, the King of Pentacles. Wow, guys. Wow. I am going to thoroughly enjoy using this deck. Absolutely. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for this. Like I said, uh, the card stock is like plastic playing card stock, which means it will shuffle and riffle and all of those things. So I will put uh, information below if Chris is still selling this deck. So um, yeah, with that, I send you all much chakra love and I will see you on the next one.